a sure decline of the pride of Africa. Kenya Airways has been flying right into turbulence as an internal performance report showed it was spending millions of shillings to pay for accommodation for passengers whose flight schedules had been disrupted. Now, the report that reviewed the period between January and August shows that KQ lost up to 100 million shillings to settle these claims. NTV's Kevin Mutai reports in the troubles facing the struggling airline. The national carrier, the pride of Africa, is now almost a crying shame. Once again, the airline is flying into turbulence as flight delays and cancellations its into its earnings. The airline has had to dig deeper to pay for accommodation for affected passengers, amounts that now run into millions of shillings. According to an internal performance report seen by NTV, a total of 542 flights have been cancelled since January this year. This has forced the airline to spend at least 118 million shillings to accommodate affected passengers. The documents further shows that among other reasons for the cancellations, a shortage of staff was a major contributor to the woes facing the airline. A total of 182 crew members failed to turn up to work for the period under review. There were 152 cases of grounded aircrafts commercial reasons and the prevailing political situation in the country were also to blame for the flight cancellations. The data also shows that out of 35,000 successful departures for the last eight months, 22,426 were on time, whereas more than 2,800 flights have suffered a delay of more than an hour. Sources within the airline also say pilots are to blame amid claims that they have been boycotting duty and shielding themselves with a deal signed under the collective bargaining agreement. According to the Kenya Airline Pilots Association, the CBA does not allow the airline to recruit more pilots, leading only 430 of them to operate the national carrier's fleet. KQ scored a measly position 7 out of 13 in the airline arrival performance rankings. South African Airways recorded an 85% on-time arrival, followed by Oman Air, Air Arabia, Qatar Airways, Emirates and Turkish Airlines. According to the airline's audited financial results for the year 2018, its losses grew to 7.5 billion shillings, up from 6.4 billion shillings in 2017. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Mombasa.